Greetings and welcome to Mrs. Gerst and Moment in Black History. Today we're going to talk about Opal Lee. Opal Lee is an American retired teacher, counselor, and activist in the movement to make Juneteenth a federally recognized holiday. She is often described as the grandmother of Juneteenth. On June 17th, 2021, President Joe Biden signed Senate Bill S-475, making Juneteenth the 11th federal holiday. Opal Lee is also a member of the illustrious sorority Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Can you guess who else is a member of that sorority? You guessed it, myself, Mrs. Gerst. Let's learn more about Opal Lee, Juneteenth, and why it is so important. The U.S. is gearing up to mark Juneteenth this Sunday, and this, of course, comes after President Biden made June 19th a federal holiday last year. But there's one woman who made it her mission to see the job through. Nicole Killian traveled to Fort Worth, Texas, to talk with 95-year-old Opal Lee, who many consider the grandmother of Juneteenth. At 95 years young, that way, Opal Lee shows no signs of slowing down. Her life story has become legendary for her unwavering mission as the grandmother of Juneteenth. At what point did you decide that you wanted Juneteenth to be a national holiday? I felt like I hadn't done enough. I was 89 years old when I got to thinking about it. I just decided. So it wasn't until then, it wasn't until 89. No. Mm -mm. I was old as dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I um, decided that maybe if a little old lady, 89 years old, in tennis shoes, walking from Fort Worth to Washington, somebody would pay attention. And they did when she started Opal's Walk. Trekking two and a half miles at a time. For the two and a half years it took for General Gordon Granger to arrive in Texas and inform enslaved black people of their freedom after the Emancipation Proclamation in 1865. She delivered 1.5 million signatures to Congress, clinching victory when legislation passed last year. The bill is passed. <laughs> it was signed by President Biden at the White House, establishing Juneteenth National Independence Day. What do you think of when you look at that pen? That it has done so much for freedom. Long before the former school teacher and mother of four launched a national campaign, her recognition of Juneteenth came at an early age. When I was a little one and we lived in Marshall, Texas, we'd go to the fairground. There'd be games and food and food and food. I'm here to tell you, it was like Christmas. <laughs> But June 19th wasn't always a celebratory occasion. In 1939, when Opal was 12 years old, her family moved to a home at this corner in Fort Worth that was torched by a white mob. The paper says there were some 500 folk who gathered. They drug the furniture out and burned it. Burned the house too. My parents never, ever talked to us about it. Not ever. And why do you think that was? I don't know. They accepted what had happened. Acceptance, but for her mother, not defeat. After that house was destroyed, she worked 
untiringly till she got another one. I say that maybe I got my tenacity from her. I've got a long way to go. <laughs> that tenacity is now driving Opal to erect a new national museum on her own land dedicated to telling the story of Juneteenth. People think it's a black thing when it's not. It's not a Texas thing. It's not that. Juneteenth means freedom. And I mean for everybody. For those who come after you, what do you want them to know when they hear the name Opal Lee? I want them to know that the little old lady dreamed and they can dream too and their dreams can come to fruition. In Fort Worth, Texas, Nicole Killian, CBS News. There are more than 100,000 Thankful so much for Ms. Opal Lee and for teaching us about Juneteenth. I hope you enjoyed that.